Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 3rd January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court Constitution Bench while observing that the grounds mentioned in Article 19 sub clause 2 are exhaustive has by 4 is to 1 majority held that additional restrictions not found in Article 19 sub clause 2 cannot be imposed on exercise of right to free speech under Article 19 sub clause 1 sub sub clause A of ministers MPs and MLAs the bench added that statements made by minister even if traceable to any affairs of state or protecting the government cannot be attributed by carelessly to the government even by applying principle of collective responsibility however Justice B V Nagaratna in her dissenting opinion observed that in case a minister makes disparaging statements in his official capacity then such statements can be vicariously attributed to the government The Supreme Court has stated that live streaming of court proceedings through third party applications like YouTube was a temporary arrangement until a viable mechanism for hosting the videos in an independent platform is adopted The Supreme Court while upholding the conviction of a man accused of killing his two sons has held that where the accused is charged for murder the burden to prove that as a result of his unsoundness of mind the accused was incapable of knowing the consequences of his actions is on the defense News highlights from the high courts starting with the Delhi High Court The Delhi High Court has ordered status quo on Delhi Urban Shelter Improvement Board's decision to demolish about 34 shops in possession of members of Kanpur Market Association. The High Court has directed the Delhi government to ensure free food and medical treatment to HIV positive persons who are below the poverty line and are unable to afford the same and ensure strict compliance of HIV and AIDS Prevention and Control Act 2017. News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Bombay High Court has held that the Mahim Nature Park cannot be exploited for development so long as it is reserved as a nature park in the development plan. The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that units located in Jammu and Kashmir are entitled to central excise duty exemption prior to July 1, 2017 and are therefore liable to pay GST. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.